Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video, the week that was. It's Monday, July the 11th. Yes, I am late. It's usually done on a Sunday. However, I do have a good excuse. I did the beachside charity market in my local community. On Sunday, I had a stall, which meant getting up at 5.30, setting up, and we were quite busy because it's school holidays. It's cold weather for us, but it's good weather for tourists. So quite a few people around. I had good sales. I wouldn't say record sales, but I had good sales. And I did spend most of the week going through what I would take down. And I did take some beanies and cowls and neck warmers because we've had quite a cold spell for a while now, a couple of weeks, and people were looking for some of those items. Cold, I mean like when I got up it's 15 degrees and during the day it got to 24. Um, and I did take down my campfire cardigan, which created quite a conversation at my market stall from quite a few people. Today it's quite cold. I have broken out my Ugg boots. I hopefully will take a photo and put a, a picture at the end of what my Ugg boots are. They are sheep, um, like fleece lined. My feet have been cold all day. <laughs> anyway, I only have one finished object for you. Now, somewhere during that week, early part of the July, I watched Charm Grammy's Crochet. Um, and I'm doing her calendar make-along when something she shows inspires me and I join in. And this week, this month was, I can't remember if it was a washcloth, a pot, mat or something in mosaic crochet in red white and blue for the 4th of July in the USA. Now Charm Grammy said we could make anything in our country's colours or something that represented our area as long as we did mosaic crochet and so I went in search of something. Now I did say I think I haven't done mosaic crochet before but I remembered a few years back when Crystal did seven beanies in seven days. I think one of them was a mosaic crochet because I did do it and I did something wrong because it's supposed to be adult size and mine turned out child size. Anyway, I don't think I have done anything else until now. Having said that, I started with one tutorial um, trying to do mosaic beanie and I just couldn't get into it and it wasn't giving me the look I was after so my finished object is a combination of mine and someone's tutorial however I've forgotten the name of the person whose tutorial it was but the link to this tutorial will be in the description below because it is a great pattern so here is my beanie now the brim is something I learned from Rel at the Dabbling Hook this is the crochet brim I will do this is the mosaic pattern that I did on the tutorial and then I finished it off with some crochet and some twirly bits in the indigenous flag colours. Why? Well, this week in Australia, oh well, the first week of July in Australia from Sunday to Sunday is NAIDOC week. And NAIDOC week celebrates all culture, history, anything to do with our First Nations people, um, Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islanders. This year's theme was aimed at the young people. It was get up, stand up, show up was the theme. The idea being to encourage the young people to become involved in their community, um, seek education and keep the history of their people alive through art, through sport, through whatever avenue they can, but to become involved. Now here we have lots of great events going on. One of them is the Indigenous Art Festival. Now our sort of medium population that isn't transient is about 75,000 people and 50,000 people attended the Indigenous Art Festival for NAIDOT week. Record numbers. It is tourist season, but it was great to see them get record numbers. The art can be young modern art, it can be the old traditional art, it can be anything that is creative and it was awesome to see. There were lots of other events on that you could go to. 
and it is worthwhile it does attract a lot of tourists because it is interesting and fun my beanie was i did have it on display down at the market and it was a bit of a hit i had an indigenous kai that had massive dreadlocks asked me if i would consider making him one in a very large cow and i mean large if he wants to put all his hair in the back of a not cow slouch beanie sorry apologies slouch beanie it's gonna have to be huge it's gonna be like a sack but yes i said to him i think about it because i don't know of a pattern that is that big and whether i would be that creative enough but he was keen he also said he wouldn't mind another one in and he pointed to the granny stitch on a blanket to see good old granny stitch he said something like that in a lighter weight for summer but he has massive amounts of dreadlocks so that was fun um i had a lady from hobart ask me if i would make the doll's blanket that she saw in pure wool and would she could she commission me she offered me a lot of money and i told her i'd have to think about it i don't really do commissions other than for friends um, she took a business card because I do have business cards and she said she'd email me with colours and give me a little time to think about it. Um, but she was prepared to pay me a lot of money. Um, but sometimes for me, it's not about the money. It's about whether I feel the project. And if I don't feel it, then I'm not going to enjoy doing it and I won't do a great job. The other thing I've been up to is I have said I've got some big knitting projects on the go. Well, I'm going to show you a whip. Now, you remember I started a wearable for myself and I had completely gone wrong because I hadn't kept an eye on my stitch count. Well, I did start it again and I am that far along. Now, I have discovered on the weekend I have a small mistake and for me that can really bug me sometimes. Like I am very pedantic about it being perfect but I have decided I am not going to frog this back to the mistake. Mainly because there is something else wrong with this that's no... Well, it's my fault because I didn't check dye lots. A lot of people say dye lots aren't important, but I think they are with pure wool. Because I don't know if you can see that there, but can you see the change in the dye lot there where the pink, it's like a pink stripe that goes paler? And then I, and you can see that's where I've changed walls. It's all the same colour. Now this is um, Baby Soft Merino 4-ply, which I think you call sports weight, some of you. Um, it's normally about $10 a 50 gram ball, but I did pick up a lot of this pink, very cheap, but I didn't worry about dye lots. They're discontinuing these colours. Now, this is a knitted wearable for me when I finish it. it. There is a pattern I am following when it's finished, unless it's a complete wreck. I will show you. It's just something I will just wear around home or, I don't know, to the beach. It'll be lightweight for the spring and when it's not too hot. And um, I'm not overly concerned about the one mistake. I think you'd have to really know what you were looking for and come up close to see it. But you will see, and, and Thing can see it, and Rabes can see it, the change in the colour pink with the stripe, with the different dye lots. So I'm going to continue knitting on, and I'm not going to worry about the dye lots. I'm just going to use what I grab, and if I get stripes, I get these funny stripes. So that's one big knitting project I'm working on, because that is a lot of stitches in the round, and I get a little bored with keep going round and round. And it may take me all year to finish it, but I do plan to finish it. I am doing my knitting workshop. I'm really enjoying that. I have picked up some amazing tips and different way of doing things. And as that whip gets a bit further along, I may show you that. And that is something unique for me. I don't like showing whips because they tend not to turn out once I've shown you. But this is going really well and I am enjoying it. The other big surprise I got this week or end of last week was one of my subscribers and fellow podcasters gifted me a pattern from my wish list on Ravelry. 
and it just blew me away I was just so touched it is another knitted top it's a little bit more involved so when I finish that I do plan to make this top I do really like it now the person who gifted it to me is not really into knitting and that was what I found really touching and the lovely words she put with it um, it was just so nice and she knows who she is and I really appreciate it because I think only my family have ever gifted me a pattern through my Ravelry from my Ravelry wish list and no one's ever done it as a surprise and this came as a real surprise it was lovely to receive so guys how's your mosaic crochet have you ever done it before do you like it like me do you find it hard on your hands let me know in the comments below but I actually really like this pattern and I like the way this turned out. I just use Spotlight's Marvel 8 ply, our standard yarn we get here because I have quite a big stock and I have the Indigenous Colours for NADOC week. Let me know what's on your hook and needles for the rest of the week. Until next time, stay safe, take care and maybe you should have a go at Mosaic Crochet too. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.